If the rule of thumb is that Apple's machines are not ideal for gaming, then the iPhone and iPad are the exception. iOS and iPadOS are powerhouses in mobile gaming, making more money last year with games than Microsoft, Nintendo, Sony, and Activision Blizzard combined. And while gamers may forever debate whether mobile games count as true gaming, the numbers don't lie. Mobile gaming is here to stay. So if you're wanting to take your mobile gaming to the next level, you might want to consider a controller, such as the PlayStation 5 DualSense. What's up, this is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to connect a PlayStation 5 controller to your iPhone or iPad. Before you get started, you'll need to be running iOS or iPadOS 14.5 or later, since that's when Apple introduced the feature. You can check this by going to the Settings app, hit General, and then hit About at the top. Near the top will be the name and software version of your device. So long as it says 14.5 or something higher, then you're good. If not, go back one level and hit Software Update and update to the latest version. Next, you're going to need to turn on Bluetooth, since that's what the PS5 controller uses. You can get to this by going to the Settings app and clicking on the Bluetooth button near the top of the screen. In the new window, make sure the Bluetooth toggle is set to On. If you've got all that set, we can start connecting the controller. Now grab your PS5 controller and locate the PlayStation logo between the two thumbsticks and the Create button at the top left corner next to the touchpad. Press and hold these two buttons together for a few seconds until you see blue lights rapidly flashing on each side of the center touchpad. On your iDevice, you should see the DualSense controller pop up under the list of other devices. Tap it and after a few seconds your controller should show that it is connected. You may see the lights on the side of the touchpad turn orange. That's okay, it's typically because it's not connected to a PS5. At this point you can kind of use the controller to control your iPad, though it's not perfect. On the home screen, you can use the left thumbstick to move between apps and folders. Tapping the X or cross button will open a folder or app, and pressing the circle button will exit out of the folder, but not an app. You can also tap the PlayStation logos between the thumbsticks to open or close the app library. For me, it always brought up the game library automatically too, so that's an added touch, assuming it's not a bug. That said, there's not a good way to jump back to the home screen or use some other features out of the box. If you use assistive touch, you can enable the controller as a companion device for it. You can find this under settings, accessibility, touch, and then assistive touch. Scroll down until you reach use game controller and enable it. Outside of this, there aren't many special settings for the controllers for your iDevice. You can rename the controller by going back to Bluetooth settings, tapping the little information eye icon next to the controller's name, and then tapping name, where you can type in a new name for the controller, in case you use multiple controllers and want to be clear about which one you're using. So now you want to play some games with your controller. How do you do that? That's actually tougher than it should be. Unlike the Apple TV or some other game stores, the App Store doesn't make it clear what apps support controllers. See, there is a tag Apple provides in the App Store for games to use, located up there with the genre of the game, age recommendation, etc. But some games that support controllers don't have this tab. Some developers will spell it out in the description, while others may only list it in their version history when they updated the game to add support. Admittedly, it's kind of a mess. Probably the easiest way to check is to use a website like Gamevice. Since they make controller attachments to work with your iDevice, they also have a good list of what games support controllers. I'll have a link to their page in the description. They also have lists for Apple and Android games. Finally, let's show off some gameplay with this. I've got the classic Sonic 2 and Lego Star Wars Classic. I'm just going to play a little of each of these with hand cam footage so you can see how well it works.
Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out my website, easyosx.net, as well as my social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.